Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Whitney Mead, and today I'm going to teach you how to put together a hurricane emergency kit. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, I'm Whitney Mead, and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave for the best in faith, family, home decor, and lifestyle. Now, let's get with the program because today we are going to be putting together a natural disaster emergency kit. I based all these recommendations from the FEMA website, which I'll link to below this video, but another great link to check out is ready.gov, and they also have a really, really handy app for your iPhone. I have it and check it every season. Today I'm gonna to focus more on hurricane prep because that is actually what affects us directly here in Charleston, South Carolina where we live. But a lot of these tips are gonna be applicable to flooding or just a loss of electricity or you know, water or just disasters in general. So let's get going. First I'm gonna show you all of the items from our hurricane closet. This is a closet on the first floor of our house that holds all of our emergency items in one really easy, convenient place. I've got all these items listed on a sheet that's actually taped to the wall inside the closet so that if someone needs to go in there and see what's in there, they will know exactly what's listed just by looking at that piece of paper. So first, we need water, bottled and gallons. FEMA recommends having one gallon of water per person per day for at least three days. So for our family of four, that would be 12 extra gallons of water plus water for our dog, so don't forget your pets. Candles and extra lighters, battery operated or solar lanterns, flashlights, extra batteries, a battery operated radio, an air mattress, which I think is really convenient if you've got to you know, have your whole family sleep on one floor and you don't wanna pull mattresses around, an air mattress can be really handy. Wet wipes, Purell hand sanitizer, water shutoff wrench, fire extinguisher spray or a fire extinguisher, a life straw, which is gonna give you safe drinking water, snap torches, emergency whistles to signal for help, water cleansing drops, face masks, plastic trash bags, poncho, first aid kit, duct tape, a wired corded telephone, can opener for food, local maps and important family documents like insurance policies, bank account records, and passports in a waterproof container, and cash. So now let's talk about food. In an emergency, you need to be prepared to have no running water and no electricity. So hopefully you have a propane stove or a gas grill, but you may not have either of those things, so you need to be prepared with non-perishable items. FEMA recommends having a three-day supply of non-perishable food for your entire family. For our family, I've put together an emergency meal plan, which may sound totally ridiculous, but that's just the way my brain works, and that includes first cooking or grilling everything that's in our fridge or in our freezer so that that stuff doesn't spoil, and then moving on to the non-perishable items. So our main meals on this emergency meal plan are things like pasta tossed with marinara sauce, rice bowls with black beans, which is gonna give you some good protein, corn, canned meats, and chili. Breakfasts are gonna be normal because our kids mostly eat cereal and Pop-Tarts and Nutri-Grain bars anyways, but I do have extra boxes of those things on hand just in case of an emergency. You're also gonna need a mess kit or a stash of paper cups, paper plates, plastic utensils, and paper towels. Since you won't have access to running water, it's gonna be a lot easier to throw all those things away after you use it than it is gonna to be to try to wash it with your emergency water, which is not what you wanna do. I also wanna encourage you to fill up your car with gas before a hurricane. Make sure that you have enough sanitary supplies and diapers for your babies and formula and pet food. We also like to grab some extra school supplies for our kids so that they can do non-electronic things like art and crossword puzzles and books. If your kids are like mine, they love watching TV and they're not gonna have that during a hurricane, so you've gotta keep them occupied somehow. 
I hope this gives you a great start to creating your own hurricane disaster kit. I know this can all sound a little overwhelming, but I wanna encourage you that I did not pull all of this stuff together overnight, so take your time grabbing things here and there as they go on sale, but it's just great to know where to start somewhere. So I'm gonna leave links to a lot of these items underneath this video because of most of them, if not all of, all of them, maybe not the water, but most of the other stuff, I actually bought on Amazon, so I can leave those links for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of my other lifestyle videos. And thanks again for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you next time.